21. Amen. If you're there and you have your Bibles open, give us a thumbs up or a clap or a, a, a prayer sign or something so we'll know you're there and we're just going to, this is going to be our study for this morning. Amen. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem and were come unto Bethpage, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus to disciples. Saying unto them, go into the village over against you, and straightway you will find an ass tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. Hallelujah. Now, I know it doesn't seem like there's a lot here in this verse. Amen. But this verse is saying something to us. Hallelujah. What, 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 what? What we see is Jesus is talking to his disciples and he's giving them instructions. Uh-huh. And in giving them instructions, he's telling them what they're going to find, amen, when they follow his instruction. When they go over to the next village, they're going to find a donkey, amen, and what's going to happen with that donkey is that that donkey is going to be tied up. And Jesus said, what I want you to do is I want you to loose them and bring them to me. Stop right there. You know, sometimes uh, 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 in this life, most often we're going to find that the people that God wants to use and that he wants to use in his plan and in his will and in his way, hallelujah, that oftentimes they are tied up, hallelujah. They're tied up. Amen. In their struggles of life, they're tied up in their addictions. They're tied up. Amen. By the affairs and the cares of this world. Hallelujah. But I want you to know something that that Jesus has sent his disciples. Amen. To loose them and bring them to Jesus. As we look at the scripture, we find that anybody that came to serve the Lord, anybody that wound up serving the Lord, hallelujah, had to be loosed and set free from something. Oh, glory to God. They had to be set free from something, amen, before they could serve the Lord. Amen. I'm a living witness. If you know what I'm talking about, just say amen, hallelujah. But I'm here to let you know, amen, that the job of loosing he gave to the disciples. Amen. I want you to know that there are people out there that God wants to use. There are people out there that God has a plan for, hallelujah, but unless you speak the word to them, unless you allow the Lord to use you, amen, doesn't matter how young or how old you are, amen, there are people that need to be loosed, hallelujah, and I believe that in God's plan that all of this COVID-19, all of this stuff is going to work together for his good, and that through this situation, there are people that are going to be loosed, hallelujah, and brought to Jesus. Amen. They'll be loosed and put in service for the master. Amen. But that's not my message. Let me move on. And he said, and if any man say anything to you, you shall say, this is what I want you to say, say the Lord has need of them and straightway he will send them. Amen. So the Lord has given the disciples his authority. Amen. So that if any man begins to question your motives, if any man begins to question what you're doing, if any man tries to accuse you, amen, of being sideways, Jesus said, if any man say anything to you, amen, while you're out there, then just say what? Say, the Lord has need of them. Lord have mercy. You know, sometimes we have to Amen. Be our own deliverance. Amen. David said that he had to talk to himself and encourage himself in the Lord. Amen. And sometimes we have to make decisions. Oh, hallelujah. Sometimes we have to make hard decisions. Amen. Amen. As we realize God has given us the blessing and the, and the gift and the capacity to serve him in a certain area. Amen. But then somebody may try to say something to you. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you making this decision? Why are you going this way and not that way? Why aren't you coming up the road with me? But part of the answer to that question, hallelujah, is I got to go this way, hallelujah, because the Lord has need of me. 
Amen. Amen. Sometimes, amen, we don't want to just put it on God, but God has given us the perfect out. I can't do this no more because the Lord has need of me. Amen. I can't go where I want to go anymore because what? The Lord has need of me. I can't hang around in this foolishness no more. Why? Because the Lord has need of me. Hallelujah. He's, he wants to change my life and he wants to use me. Hallelujah. So to some things, we have hard decisions we have to make to some people and some things we have to say so long amen so that God can begin the next chapter in our lives amen I want you to remember that amen the Lord has need of them the Lord has need of, of me amen do you know as your pastor amen and, and as your leader amen there are going to be times amen when when we have to get involved in situations Amen. I want you to know right up front, amen, that, that my response will be, hey, the Lord has need of thee. Amen. The Lord has need of them. Amen. It's time for them to move on. Why? Because the Lord has need of them. Some of us, amen, we will allow things to tie us up and bind us down, amen, as we try to go to and fro, trying to figure out what to do, hallelujah, but hold on, the Lord has need of thee, mm -hmm. amen, amen, and then verse 4 says, all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, tell the daughter of Zion, behold, thy king cometh to thee, meek, and sitting upon an ass, and a colt, the fowl of an ass, and the disciples went out and did as Jesus commanded them. Now, there's something about this fifth verse, amen, that we need to know. See, the children of Israel, they were looking for a Messiah. Hallelujah. They were looking for a Savior. Amen. Amen. And, and the Savior they were looking for wasn't for somebody to come through on a donkey. Oh, no. They was looking for a great military leader, amen, that would break the bonds of the Roman Empire, amen, and would set them free. That's the Messiah they was looking for. They was looking for the Messiah that would ride up on a kingly and stately horse, amen, and be a military leader and deliver them, hallelujah, from those that had them in bondage. But Jesus wanted them to know, tell the daughter of Zion, behold your king. Hallelujah. The one, amen, who God has put in command. Amen. You asked for a king way back in the Old Testament. Well, behold, your king is coming. Amen. But he's not coming the way you want him to come. Hallelujah. He's not coming. Amen. All big and bad and brash and bold. Amen. But he is coming in his glory. Hallelujah. And how is he coming in his glory? The first time in his glory, he came meek and humble. Amen. And he was sitting on the donkey. Amen. The first time in his glory, he would come. Hallelujah. As a meek and humble lamb. Amen. The first time in his glory, he would come as a lamb that was slain. Hallelujah. Before the foundation of the world. In his first time in his glory, he came, hallelujah, for you and for me. He didn't come to break the bondage of a Roman Empire, but he came to break the bondage of sin. Lord have mercy. Amen. And so he wanted to, to level the expectations of the children of Israel. He wanted to level the expectation and say, this is your king. Amen. He's not coming how you expect him. He's not coming the way you dreamed of in your imagination. Oh, Lord, let me pause right there for a second. Some of you think that God has got to do what he's going to do in your life according to your plan. Amen. But it's God's plan. He's a sovereign God. He's the one that's in charge. He does as he please. And either you are going to get on God's program or not. They were looking, amen, for a king. Amen. And they had in their mind how that king should present himself. Amen. Amen. But Jesus wanted to level their expectations. And he said, I want you to let them know that their king is coming. Amen. But he's coming, hallelujah, unto thee meek. He's coming humble and meek. And he's sitting on the donkey. Amen. 
and the disciples went and did what Jesus commanded them to do. That means they loosed the donkey, uh, they loosed the fowl of the donkey, amen. If anybody said anything to them, they did what he commanded them to do. They said, look, the master has need uh, 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 of them. And then uh, they told the story to the children of Israel saying, your king is coming, hallelujah, but he is coming meek and humble. You know, uh, uh, don't get it twisted, amen. He's meek and humble because he's a sovereign God. The same sovereignty, amen, that he used to put the moon and the sun in the star sky, hallelujah. The same sovereignty, Lord have mercy, amen, that he used to send the sun from east to west instead of west to east, amen. The same sovereignty that he used, amen, when he created man in his own image, amen, that same sovereign God, amen, decided that he would come, amen, meek and humble, riding, hallelujah, on a donkey. And so in verse 8, the Bible says, and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down trees, cut down branches from the trees, and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the highest. I want you to understand what's going on here. So here Jesus is entering the city. And, and, and the people, uh, uh, they believe that this is the fulfillment, amen, of the covenant. Hallelujah. And in fulfilling the covenant, y'all Sunday school scholars, y'all remember not too long ago, we studied, amen, about the covenant that God made to David, amen, when he told David he wouldn't be able to build his temple, amen, but he told David that he would make his throne everlasting, amen. So here the people, amen, are, are praising him because they are expecting, amen, that this is the son of David, and he was, amen. And so they begin to throw their clothes down, and they begin to put the palms down off the trees, amen. Some folk didn't have a cloak to throw down, so they went and found some palms. Oh, there's a message in that right there. Sometimes you may not have what you want, hallelujah. Lord, have mercy, but you have to use what you got, amen. And God will take what you got, hallelujah, and make it all work out. Yes, he will. He'll take five loaves of uh, bread and a couple of fishes, or a couple of fishes and some loaves of bread, and he'll make fish, fish sandwiches enough to feed 5,000. So the folks that didn't have anything, they went to the palm trees and they pulled the palms off and they laid it at the feet of the beast because the thinking was that he was so high and holy. The thinking was that this is the son of David. Oh, Lord, have mercy. He And he was. Amen. And, and so he's not worthy that the beast, that the feet of the beast should, amen, touch the unclean ground. So they spread their palms Amen. And they're closed in front of the beast. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. But Jesus, being the omniscient and the omnipresent and the omnipotent, amen, understood the big scope of what was about to happen. Lord, sometimes when we get in our feelings and we get in our emotions, hallelujah, we have to be careful because those same feelings, amen, that will cut somebody out will move us to say hallelujah and thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes we can praise God out of our feelings and we can praise God, amen, out of our emotions. And that's all right, amen, when we're lined up, amen, with the word of God, amen. But we can't rely on our feelings and we can't rely on our emotions. But what we can't rely on is this infallible word, amen. They were emotional, amen, and they begin to spread the, the palms and the, and the clothes in front of the beast, hallelujah. But we know after a while and by and by, not too long after this, the same people from that crowd, some of the same people were in the crowd that were saying, crucify him, crucify him. Amen. We have to be careful about our emotions. Amen. But that's not our message. Amen. As I move on further down, it says, and the multitudes that went before followed Christ saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You see, 
they could only see, amen, Jesus from the viewpoint of being the son of David, amen, the one that would sit on the Davidic throne, amen, hallelujah, but thank God almighty, amen, when we see him coming in, amen, on that donkey, we see him, hallelujah, as the son of God, hallelujah, and then uh, the verse 12 says, and Jesus went into the temple, I mean, I'm sorry, verse Verse uh, 10 says, and when he was come into Jerusalem, this is key, and when he was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved saying, who is this? Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And the multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Now this is where I'm taking my message. Amen. This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Hallelujah. They had a partial picture. Hallelujah. But I just want to talk mm -hmm. to you real quick about a more complete answer. See, they could only talk only about what they knew. And at that time, all they knew was that this was Jesus. Hallelujah. The, 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 the son. Amen. He, I'm sorry. I lost my place. That this was Jesus the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee, that this was Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. That's all they knew. Amen. So that's all they could say. Amen. That this was Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth from Galilee. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. But today, if someone was to ask us, who is this? Lord, have mercy based on our point of reference. We would have a more complete answer. Amen. Because on this Palm Sunday, we know him. Hallelujah. As the son of God. Amen. Peter revealed this. Amen. In a conversation earlier in the book of Matthew. Amen. And he was he was credited with it not being revealed to him by his own intellect, but that it was revealed to him by God. Who is this? This is the God, amen, that's going to take us through COVID-19. Mm. Who is this? This is the God that's going to draw us nearer to his bleeding side. Who is this? This is the master of the universe. Who is this? John put it best when he said, in the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the word was with God. Hallelujah. Who is this? This is the word of God. Amen. This is, amen, the son of God. This is the savior of the world. Who is this? This is a friend when you're lonely. Who is this? This is a doctor in your sick room. Who is this? This is somebody you can talk to. Amen. When you need someone to talk to. Who is this? He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Who is this? I make it personal. When my mother and my father forsake me, Lord, who is this? This is the one that will take me up. I'm so glad this morning that I can answer that question in its completeness. Who is this? This is the builder and foundation of the great Grand Church of God, the unstoppable, unpenetrable, unsinkable Church of God. No COVID-19, no disease, amen, no plague will stop the church of God. I just want to encourage you this morning, amen, that this is the old ship of Zion. And you got to get on board. But there's only one way to get on board. You got to come through the door of Jesus Christ, amen. You got to come, amen, through the door of Jesus Christ. Amen. There's only one way. Who is this? Amen. Who is this? He is our Savior and he is our Lord. Amen. Who is this? Oh, he's more than just a prophet of Nazareth. Amen. Somebody said he's the, he's the dearest of 10,000 to my soul. Mm. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad this morning, amen, that I have a more, hallelujah, complete response. Amen. And that's what we should be doing. Amen. During this time of reflection and growth. Amen. We shouldn't be ashamed to answer the question, who is this? Hallelujah. Who is this? 
you know, uh, uh, I'm going to preach this uh, sometime in the future. But Beyonce had a song to say my name, say my name. Amen. And, and some of us, we have a problem. You, you know how we do when we get on the phone. Amen. We want to say baby and honey and sugar and darling. Amen. But we don't want to call it who it is. Why is you acting that way? I'm acting this way because Jesus Christ, the Son of God, amen, has moved in my life. I'm acting this way because Jesus Christ lives in me. Who is this? Amen. I want God to just bless you this morning. Amen. I want God to make his face to shine around about you this morning. And I want God to give you peace this morning. Amen. This great Palm Sunday. We're not together, amen, right now in any proximity. But I feel close to each and every one of you in the spirit of the Lord. Amen. We're not able to hold hands. Amen. But we're able to connect hearts. Amen. And I want you to know this Palm Sunday that Jesus was on his way to Calvary. Lord have mercy. He wasn't in a, in a Rolls Royce. Amen. But he was in a donkey on his way to Calvary to give his life for you and for me. And we're so glad about it today. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. Lord God, we thank you, hallelujah, for how you continue to keep us and bless us, Lord God. Even though we're absent one from another, Lord God, you continue to bless us. Lord God, I thank you that there is nowhere your presence cannot come and show up. Lord, whether behind a pulpit, Lord God, or in our living room, Father, you are there. Lord God, and I just thank you, and we thank you, Lord God, and we ask that if there's anyone out there who wants to make Jesus their Savior, if there's anyone out there who wants to get to know the Lord, amen, feel free, amen, to raise your hand, feel free to uh, send an uh, email or a message so that we can just talk with you. If there's anyone who wants to make a decision for the Lord or come on back to the Lord, amen, or need a church home, if you need a church home, amen, we would like to encourage and offer Springfield Baptist to you today, amen. Not through no form or fashion, amen, all you got to do is raise your hand and say, Springfield, I'm with you, amen, amen, and come on, amen, to this fold as the Lord leads, amen. So,